Hey guys, Extra Gaming here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use a charged Agonark rune and how to charge it. <clears throat> so, first you want to go to this the Dreadnought, take some getting used to and you're going to look for these Taken rings with like a ball floating above them. Uh, if none of them spawn in the hall, which is where I am right now, you are going to want to head down this, like, corridor, and there should be one up here. And... Okay, a spawn should be right here. Um, another one should be right here, which is <laughs> where I'm going because the taken thing is there. Another one should be right up here. My, my description was pretty good, yeah. Pretty proud of myself. I'm just kidding. Okay, so you're gonna want to take out these wave waves of taken enemies. Um. You can only charge it once per day and there's seven charges, so it'll actually, at minimum, take you a full week to do it. Which kind of sucks, but I mean, I can't really switch anything in the game files or do anything like that, so. And also, there are th uh, four waves, um, three of just regular enemies spawning, and then on the fourth, it'll be a yellow life with a name, I believe. And you'll get a charged Agonark rune like I did there. And to get a Agonark rune, you usually have to. You can actually step into one of those and get it. And I'm pretty sure you can just get it by killing random hives, like hive enemies. So. If you. Can get one from killing hive enemies. That'd be cool because I think you could still charge it in the same day. And I'm running spike grenade because I haven't switched off of my PvP setup. Okay, so you don't want to go there, but you want to go straight forward here, and there's a big crack in the wall. You're gonna want to ignore turning right there, but you're going, to want to, you're going to want to walk into here and insert your charged Agonark rune. Um, so then you're going to walk out here and step into another one of these rings. And this is actually a pretty difficult thing to do so I recommend you have someone with you or if you're 400 light and you're pretty good at it at taking out PVE enemies go ahead just do it on your own but yeah it's pretty difficult because a lot of enemies spawn you're gonna want to take out those Knights up there because they'll just keep hammering into you from up there. Okay, so okay. you're going to want to. Kill all of the
um, taken. I couldn't think there. My bad. And once you do, it'll take a few seconds, but the ring will actually spawn eventually. You're just gonna have to be patient. Like, it's only a few seconds, so it's not that bad. So, I kind of forgot about this switch or wizard. And what, what is it? I don't know. I forget. I'm did this in a while. And. Those wardens are actually for a different quest. And. If you do want to know what that is, just tell me and Each time you complete a wave, it's basically just the same thing over and over again. And you're just going to keep killing enemies and killing enemies until eventually a ring will spawn in the front of the room because like, it kind of progressively makes its way up. And when it gets all the way to the front, it will spawn a boss. And the boss is a, it's not a very like large health bo boss. And he isn't really that strong either, so that doesn't matter, but he spawns a ton of ads. So that's honestly your biggest concern. As long as I don't mess up, you should be able to see him. I'm honestly not sure because I don't think I've ever messed up on this, but I'm not sure if, if you're doing it solo and you die that it resets, but it might. Not really sure. I feel like Bungie would do something like that. That's just me though, so. I was so lucky to get this outbreak when the Wrath of the Machine, the machine came out because I was, I had no clue how to actually like do the like cylinder part. I just, the dude we were with kind of just carried us through it and yeah, I got an outbreak from it. Okay, as you can see, the front ring spawns now, and he will spawn in the middle of the room, like, right in that big pool of taken juice. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, but yeah, that's where he spawns, and as you can see, he's not like a big boss, he's just a basic one. I hate non-tracking missile launchers, just the Haze and Vengeance is amazing. So. Um, probably one of the best things to do is just try to kill him as quickly as possible while taking out ads. Like, take out a few ads, and then once you're clear for a second, just kind of hammer into him. Because then you can just get him down a lot. And then from there, you can kind of just 
once oh, from there you can get him completely down and just kill him. And from there you can just kind of take out ads and it's pretty easy. It's just annoying because this dude spit, or I don't know, spits, I guess, fire everywhere. <laughs> and I can just imagine him with like a chain and a hat. Okay, after clearing out some ads. Um, I'm back, and yeah, there were a lot of ads. That's why I like Haze and Vengeance. The Cluster Bomb. And took them out, and another thing starts to spawn, but it's just your chest. And you insert your charge agonite rune, and you get your rewards. <laughs> um, what I get here is basically what you'll get from this. So, yeah, that's what you get. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.